In this video, I want to share what I've been knitting the last couple of days and chat a little bit about myself. So what I have on my knitting needles is sweater number 13, pattern designed by my favorite things knitwear. Just to make it clear, it's not my 13th sweater. I'm far behind it, but it's just the name of the pattern. I always wanted to knit a sweater that I can wear at the beginning of the spring when it's still cold in the morning and at night. The yarn that I'm using is heavy merino and soft silk mohair from Knitting for Olive. Both are in color rose clay. If you're curious how it's like to knit with these yarns, please check out my last video where I talked about these yarns more in depth. This is my first sweater to knit in pink. Pink is not my go-to color at all, but when spring is around the corner, why not? I like this color so far because I think this pink has a little bit of brown, which tones down the pink and brings calm impression. Okay, so I don't know what else to talk having myself knitting in background, so let me talk about myself. So, hello, I'm just a humble knitter living in Canada. I started knitting back in 2018 when I was living in the States. That winter, I wanted to get a new beanie, but I couldn't find the one that I liked, so I decided to knit one for myself. I didn't have any knitters around me, so I went on to YouTube, searched tutorial videos, and I started knitting. Since then, I'm hooked to this crafty activity. I currently live in Canada with my husband, but I'm originally from Japan. Yes, I was born and raised in Japan. I still have all my family, relatives, and friends back there. English is something that I learned later on in my life, so and I'm still learning. So if you hear something you don't understand in this video, you don't have to doubt your English. Chances are either me saying English words in a unique way or me throwing random Japanese words in English sentence. However, when it comes to knitting, I'm much more familiar to knit in English. Actually, one of my friends in Japan asked me to teach her knitting, but it became like, えっと、まずカストオンして次は全部のステッチを縫って。その次はパロ。ステーズして。Anyways, so I've never knit it in Japanese, but I'm willing to. Now you might be wondering why I started YouTube video. So the idea of starting my own channel had been around me for quite some time. I was joking around with my husband and friends saying, what kind of channel do you want to do if you start YouTube channel? And I immediately said, I want to do a channel about knit related reviews. So it could be a knitwear review, yarn review, knitting book review and stuff like that. So the idea was there, but I didn't really start it. But then one morning, I was walking around the neighborhood and listening to podcasts. The lady in the podcast was talking about starting something new. She was saying, if you feel like starting something you've never done, it's intimidating, but just give it a try. It kind of pushed my back. And as soon as I was back home from work, I recorded my first video and edited, edited it on my phone using a free app and uploaded my first video. But why knit related review channel? Well, whenever I start a new project to knit, I look for patterns and I usually go to Instagram or Ravelry to see images of the sweater that other knitters knitted. Same thing when searching for yarn, especially when COVID started and I started to rely hugely on online shopping. But I found it's easy to find beautiful knitwear in pictures, but so hard to find those knitwear in motion. So I was like, I want to see this sweater not only from this side, but also from different angles too. Or how the sweater actually looks when somebody actually wears it and move around. These made me feel I want to share what I knitted and how they look in motion. All right, that's it about myself. Now let's get back to my knitting project. 
So this is how much I knit it. The sweater you knit top down and you actually start from the neck band. The original pattern calls for turtleneck, but since I wanted to knit something more spring, I decided to do just a simple neck band that sit slightly higher than collarbone. But this collar is a bit too long. I like everything else, but not the height of the collar. So here I am unraveling. This is one of the things that I like about knitting. If you want to redo it, all you have to do is unravel. New materials are not required. And here we go, this is the height that I want it. So I'm basically starting over the sweater now, but let's see how it turns out this time. Thank you for joining my knitting journey today. And I'm looking forward to sharing more about my knitwear and my knitting progress in next video. Bye!